Okay, hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, I'll be learning about how to do visualizations or how to plot our data using a package called Gadfly. There are several packages that you can use to plot your graph. So to plot your data, one of them is Gadfly. So if you don't have it, you can just use this command pkg.add and Gadfly. So after that, you have to use data frames because you are plotting the data and then to make it a tabular data as we have learned in the previous tutorial and then using Gadfly to be able to have access to the functionalities of Gadfly. So first of all, to do a plot, the plot is an input function and it takes this argument. The argument that it takes is, first of all, it takes the data, the data and then which is the data that you will be calling from and then it moves on to take on the mapping which consists of maybe dictionaries and then it moves on to take another command which is the elements the elements are just like since the guard fly is a grammar of graphics the elements are like the nouns or the verbs of the grammar so the next one is going to be the elements and then it's going to be elements so it can be several of them so under these ones we can also have geometrics the geometrics are the one that add beauty to it so it includes the histogram the points the bar chart and all this stuff so, so this is the basics about it about it so this is the basic sentence about it okay so let's create an array a simple array and see how we can do that so let's say we have an array like plot then x has x right so random so we have something like 20 and then let's create another one with our y axis which is going to be a random which is going to be 20. so something like this and then we move on to the geometrics so geom and then we are using points so it can be several other aspects so for that you just book call it and it's going to be open for us perfectly inside this place so that is one of the ways we can plot it so if you are using the atom it's going to just Plot it perfectly for us. See that has already plotted. Let's let me run it again. Let me run it again so that you can see it well. Okay. So that has perfectly plotted for us our y axis and our x axis. There are several functionalities you can add to label all these things. And then in the coming tutorials, we learn about all of these ones. So that's one of the ways you can do it. See that it's perfectly. It's perfectly nice here so let's see how we can plot our own data if you have a data frame our own data so let's go to this we have our data and then we'll be plotting it using data frame then using that fly see that so in case you don't have this test editor and you want to still plot and see the graphics of of your data you can use this format so we have df can use your REPL that came with this your terminal and then read table and then we have this data that we have which is this data right and then we're going to be plotting this so we'll be plotting the y axis the year as our x axis and the population as our y axis so to do that there's another simple way you can do it you can so that you get to know the columns so you can just do it this as we learned previously so this is going to be our x and then it's going to be our y so to do that is let's say p which is going to be our first plot plot and then it takes the data and then takes the s as x is going to be our year right it can also be one which is going to store us understand it like one is going to still understand it but let's use here and then let's move on to the next one which is going to be our this which is going to be our population population one and then after that you move on with our geometrics which is going to be capital g o m dot points so after that when i call for this it's going to use my default browser to open it so that this is my default browser and then just just perfectly open it for us so we see the population is our y axis and then the year is our x axis 
so you can micro minimize it or maximize it okay, that's one of the ways you have so that you can still see what your data is have been plotted so we can move on to several functionalities we can even change this one that we had into something like let's say histogram right and then it's going to still plot it perfectly for us it's going to plot it. But sometimes when you are doing this you can bring a semicolon here so when you bring the semicolon or you omit it if you omit the semicolon you want to use your default display to open it so mostly it's the browser so let's see whether it has open it. It's just it's open it perfectly for us. So the geometrics usually is to show the type whether it is a histogram. If you want it as a histogram, as a point, as a line, as a pie chart, use the geometrics. So you see that just plus it perfectly for us. Okay, so that's the basics about it here. So let's do one last thing and then move on. So we can also even plot functions. So for example, you have a function like plot i want to plot a function and i'm going to plot something like this sign and then cos and then i want to make plot it against let's say zero right and then mm, let me make it like 30 something like this so if i plot it perfectly you want to plot it for us perfectly which is very very nice so that is quite useful when you are using it in a test editor like atom so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can put it inside the question section comment section so that everybody can also benefit and then please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed